If you play games on your PC, having a GPU is an absolute must. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about what you can do if your Nvidia GPU isn't being detected in Windows. Now, the first thing that we're going to do in this case is pressing Windows key plus X to open the quick access menu and then we'll click on Device Manager. Once Device Manager loads up, go and expand Display Adapters. And as you can see, my NVIDIA GPU is appearing here, but for you, that might not be the case. Now, to do that, then click on View and make sure that the Show Hidden Devices option is checked. Once that is done, uh, you should be able to see your device pop up and then from there you can just right click and click on enable device. So this helps enable your uh, the proper GPU. Keep in mind that even if your GPU is visible here, if it is uh, disabled, then it might then your Windows will not be able to detect it because uh, the device manager itself has disabled that particular component. So make sure that you find your GPU in here. Uh, you can look for hidden devices using the view menu then right click it and then make sure that it is enabled as you can see right now it's disabled i can't disable and re-enable it while recording this video because then everything will shut down but uh, the first thing that you need to do in device manager is to make sure that your proper gpu is enabled Once that is taken care of, uh, you need to download the NVIDIA app and essentially update drivers. Now, this process is as simple as firing up your web browser and heading to the NVIDIA app. Now, once you are uh, the NVIDIA website, so once you're on the NVIDIA website, simply head over to the driver section right here. And uh, now you can either go ahead and download the NVIDIA app so whether you, if you want uh, if you want to play games and if you want to have work uh, like professional workstation use you can pick either of these so if i pick on games it takes me to the nvidia app i can go ahead and download it from here and then once i have the nvidia DAP app downloaded and installed i can go ahead and get the best possible drivers for it so as you can see i can just launch the nvidia app head over to the drivers section and then I can check to see if I have the latest uh, GPU update. I can just click this button. Uh, this will check for updates. I have the best one already installed. So we can go ahead and uh, reinstall it if I want uh, just to iron out any issues. And then depending on whether you want the best driver for gaming performance or the best driver for creative apps, you can select that in this drop down and then install the driver just to make sure you're getting the best out of your GPU. Another thing that you can try is to force disable a PCI Express slot on your system just to get your GPU to show up. Now this may or may not work depending on how your system is. So I want you to be sure and I want you to check your device manager if your GPU is not showing up there before you do this. But simply open up uh, the start menu, search for command prompt and then run it as administrator. Once command prompt opens up, we are going to run the PC edit command sorry pc p edit set pci express force disable go ahead and press enter and once the command has run restart your system your gpu should show up now Another thing that can cause a problem uh, with GPUs is Windows update. So if you've recently updated your Windows version and you can't see uh, your GPU and you could before, there's a good chance that Windows messed something up. Now to roll back a Windows update, press Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings and head over to Windows update. Now in here, you will have a certain option. So if you've just upgraded to 24H2, you might be able to update or roll back but in case you don't see anything just click on update history and uh, here is your feature updates and your quality updates and at the bottom of this list you will see the uninstall updates option if you click on this you will see the five uh, or the six latest installed updates on your system and then you can go ahead and uninstall them depending on which version is the latest or which version you uh, were afraid might have caused issues 
and uh, once that is uninstalled restart your system to see if the gpu shows up again and if it doesn't then you can go ahead and update your system later Finally, if that doesn't work either, your best bet is to go ahead and try to completely reset your Windows PC. Now to do this, open Windows settings, head over to system, then we go to recovery and then we click on reset PC right here. Uh, you can choose to keep or your files or remove everything if you want to start fresh with Windows, but uh, doing so essentially resets everything to its default drivers, resets Windows to its default state and uh, that can help override any configuration changes that might be hiding your GPU or might be making it inaccessible to your PC. And uh, if you don't see your GPU even after resetting your system, there is a good chance that there is a hardware issue with your particular system. Maybe the GPU isn't seated properly. Maybe uh, there's a problem with the motherboard on the PCI Express slot. Whatever the case might be, we recommend that you take your PC to a professional, get it looked at, and they will be able to tell you more precisely what the problem is. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.